tell you from experience. It's not gonna do nothing but discourage you, baby. <laughs> it's not. You looking at what she got going on? She might have another, you know, whole another calling on her life than you. <laughs> you can't be looking at her expecting what she got going on to be what you got going on. so I'm still going strong with my one video a day this week it's now day two if you have not already seen my Monday video yesterday's video of me um, editing my pictures go watch it because because like y'all really been Helping your girl with her uh, motivation lately because I'm trying to reach my 500 subscribers goal by July. It is now June, what, 22nd? So, I'm already at like 370 or something like that. I can get to that 500 by July. Y'all just gotta keep on like subscribing and loving on your girl. You feel me? So, thank y'all for joining the busy gang. Because <laughs> it's real busy over here. Y'all see my shirt? My little sister has a clothing line. And she made me this shirt. Busy brown girl. Yes, honey. Yes. Made in Chicago. Yes. What that is? Waves. <laughs> Period. Go support her and her clothing line. Especially if you're from Chicago. So, today, um, I'm going to be telling you all how my journey has been um, while being an entrepreneur, and more specifically, being busy. I'm going to tell you all how that name even came around, and what exactly it is um, that I do, okay? So, if you do not already know, I am an entrepreneur. Um, I'm an author, a two-time author. My first book, I published, self-published and released in, what was it, May of 2018. I just recently had my second year book anniversary, So, I did that shit, period. Um, that book was titled Brown Girl Proverb, which is also the name of my business, Brown Girl Proverb. Um... So, yeah, that was my first baby. And then my second baby, Losses and Gains, was published and released in November of last year, 2019. And that is an urban fiction novel series because I'm working on the second part to that as we speak. <laughs> um, and Losses and Gains and Brown Girl Proverb are both available on Amazon and on my website browngirlproverb.com yes honey go visit um so yeah brown girl proverb is a memoir and it's about my life experience i wrote it when i was 21 and um i have readers of all ages from 13 12 up to like 70 and up to be honest i've gotten reviews from all different types of people and not just women men as well um so yeah it's a very very good book i always tell people that even if i didn't write it i would still read it one because i'm a reader i've read a million books and two because it's just that damn good okay um so yeah that's what i do I, on top of that um i'm also a student mentor with a nonprofit organization here in chicago um called college mentoring experience and yeah, I have gained so many children from that program. Um, I go by Miss Mimi. So yeah, I love my kids. I love my babies. Um, most of them are middle schoolers. A couple of them are in high school. And yeah, so that's also what I do. Um, and in all of that, I'm also an event curator, a speaker, a mental health advocate, 
I do it all. I do. I really do. My side hustles since I've been like a teenager are doing hair, makeup, and um, I make some clothes here and there. That's what I thought I was going to be doing. But my main um, priority is being an author and being an entrepreneur and being a mentor. I hope to one day have my own um, mentoring program. It's going to be the best mentoring program in the city of Chicago. It's going to be the best mentoring program in the state and then eventually the world. Okay. I know my purpose. I know my calling. I know what I'm here to do. Um, so yeah, that's what I do now. Um, a lot of you may hear me refer to myself as busy. Busy is short for the official busy brown girl. And, um, uh, that title or whatever came about, um, what was it like last year in August? I had my first um, event. It was a brunch and it was called the the Busy Brown Girl Brunch. And um, basically I just brought a bunch of um, beautiful brown women together in Chicago. And um, there was a panel of some really bomb females that I knew they were also entrepreneurs and the spectrum was across the board. They did everything. And um, yeah, we just spoke to um, the guests that I had and we spoke about our journeys, our ups, our downs, how we got started, um, where we were at then in our business and in life in general. And it was just a real good time, very positive vibes, very like proud moment because that was my first business event um that i planned and i put together and i sold tickets for and things like that and it was going to be the first of many this year um the event was going to be annual so this year it was supposed to also happen in august but covid19 feels like it's stopping shit you feel me but i'm still going to find a way to to have an event in august um so yeah that's where um my name the official busy brown girl um came about and then as time went on and i started introducing myself as the official busy brown girl um at events and when i met people and things like that a lot of people just shortened it and they was like oh hey this is busy so busy was just you know real catchy so i'm like fuck it busy it is i'm busy so now a lot of people who have most people who have met me within the last year probably know me better as busy um before then you know of course it was just me me Jermisha, which is my name. But yeah, so um, little did I know that name would kind of be the foundation for what direction my business was headed into. Um, so busy is just not, you know, for shits and giggles. Busy is a name that I kind of like hold to a certain standard, mainly because um, I advocate for being a busy woman being a bossy woman always having your own and always um tapping into your creativity in whatever manner you feel is best for you so for me i like being busy i like doing a lot of things i like having my foot in a lot of things i like being busy and productive at the same time um so i honor the name busy um my journey so far has been very busy. And even in the recent years, it's started to, you know, build up. Thank God. Um, my name is getting a lot more traction. My business is getting a lot more attraction um, and things like that. I'm becoming a household name, which is a blessing. And, um, yeah, so I'm living up to my name, Busy. And it's going to carry because I stamp it on everything that I do, everything that I say. Busy is me. I am busy. Um, so yeah, I started becoming an entrepreneur for real, for real, um, uh, probably like a year and a half or two years ago, around the time when I published my first book, that's when things got really serious for me as far as my entrepreneurial journey. Um, because my book started to take off, like I've done a million things, um, as an entrepreneur or as a budding entrepreneur, 
um, for a long time, not just, it didn't just start for me two years ago. My mom is an entrepreneur. She's owned her own boutique for the last, what, 14, 15 years. So I already had my foot in the game because when I saw her do it, I was like, that's that shit I want to do. Like, I don't want to work for nobody. Not that I haven't tried, y'all. I filled out a million job applications and God is just like, you know, that, that may not be for you. Okay. Rejection is also a redirection. So I know what it is I'm, I'm supposed to do as an entrepreneur. So sophomore year of college, um, I started my own clothing line or accessory line where I was hand making accessories. I realized that finding something to do to make you money is cool, but the, the excitement that you get from it is temporary. Um, if it isn't something that aligns with your purpose. And I love designing clothes. I love fashion. I've always loved it. I always will. But I don't see myself um, doing it and loving it forever. So that didn't last too long. But it was a learning process. Um, every journey is ups and downs, successes and failures. Not to say that was a failure. It was just not the right direction. It wasn't the, the road that I wanted to go down. It didn't give me what I thought it was going to give me. You just know when it's something that you can see yourself doing for the next 20, 30, 40 years. And I couldn't see myself doing it <laughs> for another 20 years. So um, it did give me the experience that I need, though. Um, it helped me with numbers and taking orders and getting more prepared for the next level, which was me writing my book. Um, that was something that also wasn't brand new. I wanted to write a book since the age of 10. Um, like I said, I'm a, I'm a reader. I love books. I love, love, love reading, love books. Um, I probably love books more than I love people, to be honest, <laughs> to be fucking honest. But, um, so yeah, I wanted to write a book, um, from a very young age and eventually you get to the point where you stop telling yourself, okay, when I'm this age, I'm gonna do this. When I'm this age, I'm gonna do that. Um, and in that moment while I started writing, I was also shifting, um, going through a lot of different changes in my life um yeah yeah both good and bad and i needed a release and i'm a writer not just in the sense of writing books but i'm a journaler i love to i just i need to write my emotions down i need to get it out on paper this needed to be more than a journal entry and it ended up transforming into a very very good book okay very good book. I still read it all the time. It's a quick read. Uh, 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 it's a quick read, <laughs> and um, an enjoyable read, a, a emotional read. It's a good ass motherfucking book. <laughs> Period. Don't hear that. <laughs> Once I got into um the business side of that, and I just like oh I wrote a book. Um, when I got to like taking orders and um needing to have a website and things like that that's when i started to get way more serious um as an entrepreneur because it required more of me each new level is going to require a lot more of you than the last one and that's exactly what this presented to me i didn't know really much about like tracking orders mailing orders um a lot of things were were really new to me um even though i had been around an entrepreneur my whole life Every entrepreneur isn't the same. And I think that that's um, a lesson that we all should, you know, learn. Everybody's entrepreneurial journey is not going to look the same. Everybody's come up or overnight success is not going to look the same. Um, and I think once we stop measuring ours and comparing ourselves to the next person's big break and things like that, we'll find a lot more joy and peace in what it is that we do and allow ourselves to just grow at the pace that we're supposed to grow. Um, I just saw a post the other day that said, um, what was it? it was like, babe, um, speed doesn't matter. Forward is forward. And I love that because I think a lot of us think that um, the quicker we get things done or the quicker that we make it, the more successful we are. Um, and those two things really don't correlate at all. Sometimes the, the quicker you make it, the sooner you are to fail because you've done things so fast and you haven't taken time to even like sit, plan, map it out, fail, succeed, fail again, succeed. So, um, yeah, forward is forward. 
that's where I've been going with my journey. I'm still nowhere close to where it is that I want to be, but I'm way further from where I was, which is amazing because now that I look back on it, sometimes I don't take the time to even see um, how I've grown and all the things I've pursued and all the things I've watched come into fruition until I sit down and I'm like, man, like I did not see any of this happening like this like we all see it happening like we all speak great things over our lives and businesses and things like that but you don't really understand it until you're in it and now i'm like wow like people know me without me even having it to introduce myself now you know that's a humble brag i'm still not like you know up there with beyonce yet but to know me and i haven't even shaken your hand or said oh i'm so and so like that that's amazing so um yeah, that's my journey right now is still progressing. Um, I'm working on my third and fourth book, part twos to both of my first two books. Um, so that's that's great. I love doing that. I'd have no clue when either of them would be released because I'm focused in doing so many um, other important things um, in regards to my business, like my YouTube channel and trying to figure out um, how I'm going to... Um, recover i guess you can say because my business hasn't really failed since COVID 19 um but everything is is considered a recovery process now once we you know get out of these phases and things like that so um still figuring out the recovery process and how i'm going to come back on the scene with these events you know that y'all should come to especially if you're in chicago if you're in chicago and you have not been to a busy event like you definitely should should get in contact with me follow me on my instagram page follow me on my twitter follow me on whatever um and yeah just stay up to date because um i have so many things so many ideas planned so 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 many ideas planned and i'm ready to execute I am ready to execute, okay? And I kind of have to do it while my motivation and my drive is still there. If y'all hear something whimpering, that's my dog. He is very spoiled. So, yeah, just ignore that because I do. Um, so, another part of my journey has been um, me being able to help navigate through my, my lows in a healthy way. Um, because as an entrepreneur, you have to understand that your lows are going to be here and there. They're going to be here and back, here and back. Um, you don't fail once and succeed every other time. The only way you succeed is from your failures and learning from them. So understanding that has been a bit difficult, but you learn fast. You grow up really fast in entrepreneurship because you fail fast. I think that's what it is. You fail almost the moment that you start, um, and then you start to see, oh, okay, this is some real shit. You know, let me get on my get on my my grind and get serious about this. Um, and then you start to learn things a lot quicker. You learn about who is going to support you and who's not. You learn how to receive um the lack of support and not look at it as a a jab or as you know a personal hit to the gut because it's not personal all the time um you know how to bounce back fast because you don't have a choice your business has to, to keep running so you don't really have time to sit and soak and cry um you just have time to plan and replan and readjust and go back to the drawing board and things like that so my journey in that sense it has been um, a learning experience, a good learning experience. If you think entrepreneur, you like, oh yeah, I'm gonna have my own money, I'm gonna have my own this, my own that, I'm gonna be the boss, ain't nobody gonna be able to tell me shit. And then it's like, okay, yeah, that's cute too, and that's gonna happen, but you gotta get through all of this and all of that and all of this first before you even see any of that. And in order to be a successful entrepreneur, um, you have to be able to understand that and accept that because there's no way around it. It's really not. There's no shortcuts to entrepreneurship. And if you know anybody who is feeding you shortcuts or advising you with shortcuts or taking shortcuts, that is not the person that you want to look to as a, a mentor of any sort because they are not giving you the real. Okay. 
they're not giving you the real. And um, I'm going to give you the real. I'm going to let you know what it really, really has been for me. Um, overall, my journey has been amazing. I love, I wouldn't have picked any other thing to do besides what it is that I'm doing now. Um, I have so much more to learn. Like every day I'm learning something else. Every day I'm making a, a mistake, whether it's small or big. Um, and I'm learning from it and I'm fixing it. And then I'm always getting better. Every time you see me, nigga, I'm going to be better than I was the last time you saw me. Period. And that's that's it. That's all. That's all it's gonna be. Y'all, if y'all see this ugly ass beige ass band-aid on me, I got COVID tested today. That's also why I might sound a little nasally. Cause they shoved that motherfucking stick up my nose. Like, and let me tell y'all how the bitch came up to me. It was so abrupt. I was like, okay. How long? Count down, bitch. Count down. This bitch came up to me with a sword in her fucking hand. Thinking she was going to shove it up my goddamn nose with no type of forewarning. You wasn't even going to let me know. She came up to me and said, okay, you ready? No. <laughs> no. I said, whoa, bitch, count. <laughs> I had to remember who the fuck she was for a minute. Like, bitch, count, count, count. Give me a countdown. The fuck? This shit is going past my fucking nasal cavity. This shit is up in my eyeball at this point. Oh, that's another story for another day, y'all. It wasn't that bad. Honestly, if you could take a tattoo, you could take a motherfucking COVID swab. Don't be a little bitch about it, okay? Go get tested. It's still out here. Don't be ignorant. But yeah, y'all. <laughs> I am no expert, but I do know enough to be able to lend some advice or teach some people some things, especially when it comes to specifically writing books and becoming an author i am um well-rounded in that area i can i can help you with that um so i do do small like consultations and things that you can book on my website um and i'll sit and i'll help you as far as that goes also i have a little project that i'm working on that uh, i don't want to speak too much on just yet but there is going to be a resource for young authors very soon from me um so yeah as you can see i'm constantly growing that's what it is you got to keep your momentum up not to say you got to do six million things because you will burn out and i think a lot of people are under the impression that if you're not doing a million things and you're not doing nothing at all which is absolutely not true um which is also something i try to explain when people are like oh why do you have the name busy um i do try to let them know that just because i'm doing a lot of shit um don't necessarily mean that you have to do a lot of shit for you to look or be anything like me i just happen to be good at doing a lot of shit you know so everything ain't for everybody and it's okay like i said everybody's entrepreneurial journey and experience is going to be different sweetie stop comparing that shit's ugly it ain't gonna do nothing but discourage you i'm telling you from experience it's not gonna do nothing but discourage you baby it's not you looking at what she got going on she might have another you know whole nother calling on her life than you <laughs> you can't be looking at her expecting what she got going on to be what you got going on or what he got for himself going on with his life to just go on ahead and happen to you y'all two different goddamn people <laughs> you gotta understand that this this is personal this is also assignment oriented okay your journey as an entrepreneur is yours to experience, honey, okay? So, yeah. Um, I don't know. I guess I think I covered everything. Um, right now in my business, I'm at a high. I'm going to be honest, y'all. I'm at a high with my business right now, which is good. I pray for this. This is happening. It's manifesting. <laughs> it's manifesting, okay? Some days I'll be low. And I'm still... Okay with that. Because in the moments, I'm figuring out how to get back high. You know? I'm strengthening my brain. I'm exercising my talents. Trying to see what it is that I could do to get back to where I want to be. And that's going to be reoccurring if you want to become an entrepreneur. Um, but yeah, my journey has been good. My journey has been really good. I'm very proud of myself. So yeah, if you want to be an entrepreneur, I encourage you to do it. Um... But first, I encourage you to educate yourself on it by 
finding a mentor, preferably somebody who is seasoned. Um, because entrepreneurship is not for everybody. Um, but it doesn't hurt you to see if it's for you. So if you feel like it's something that you can do and that you will have a passion for, do it. But it's very important to understand uh, a trade versus pursuing something for the rest of your life. But don't slap the word entrepreneurship on there until you can see yourself doing that and loving it for the rest of your life. If you are an entrepreneur, comment below what it is that you do. Send me a website link. Send me something, anything to promote what it is that you do. Any questions that you may have, put them in the comments. Um, if you're not comfortable with commenting it, follow me on Instagram, DM me. Follow me on Twitter, DM me. I'll answer it there. Um, yeah. And also, if you have any resources for me, because like I said, I'm still learning. If you know somebody who I should link up with, comment below. I love you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Keep subscribing because I keep wanting y'all to because I need this goddamn 500 by July. Okay? Because we're going to get us there. We're going to get us there, busy gang. Okay? All right. I love y'all. I'll see y'all tomorrow in the next video.